Good morning all. I am Rajkumar, Assistant Professor from the Department of CAC Data Science, Manapalli Institute of Technology and Science. Today we are going to see about the how to install Hadoop in Ubuntu. In this, we are going to see about the introduction about the Hadoop and how to install the Java, then configure the various files which are uh, giving the setup for our Hadoop and then how to set up the localhost and how to launch the Hadoop and then finally we will see the some feedbacks. First we will give the introduction about the Hadoop. So Hadoop is an open source software which is used to handle the large amount of data. Whenever we are fail to handle the data or data sets in a normal traditional databases in that places we will use the Hadoop. So Hadoop is having the MapReduce programming model and also Pig, Pig Latin for many other things. Okay. We can use the, uh, we can install the Hadoop both in uh, Windows environment as well as Unix environment. But mostly we will prefer the Unix environment which is uh, very much useful to, uh, which is uh, very much easy to install and configure the files. We will see step by step. First step what we have to do means, first we have to ensure whether Java is installed in our system. So the preferred version of the Java for this Hadoop is 8, okay, open JDK 8. Uh, so we will use the commands and how to use that one, we will see one by one. First we will open the terminal, we will open the terminal and then we will go to the home. So from here onwards we will see how to install the Java everything. So first uh, the command which is used to install the Java is sudo apt install open JDK iPhone 8 iPhone JDK. Okay. So that will be sudo space sudo space apt install install open JDK uh, iPhone. 8 hyphen jdk you will ask the password because of some protection i will give my system password here so it will shows like this already in my system i will install the java so it shows already it is done if in your system freshly you are installing the java it will get installed and it will be work per perfectly then we have to ensure whether java is installed in the proper way or not for that we will use the command cd slash user slash etc slash jvm sorry just a minute so lib uh, slash lib user jvm slash command is somewhat wrong slash lib slash user slash jvm okay now we will enter into the java virtual machine in this you will list the command so here we have the java iphone 8 iphone open so we will install the java very perfectly so this is the first step we have to follow first we will ensure whether java is present in our system or not if it is not we will install the java this is the first step then for our next step is we have to configure the bash hrc file it is a file, a scripting file, which will run at the very first when we are logging our system. So in this bash src file, we have to configure these contents. Already some content will be there in that file. We don't want to disturb that thing. We have to add these command lines in that file, that the scripts in that file. So from where we get these uh, commands or where we get these uh, uh, scripts means, we can get it from the 
code.medium.com or here I will refer the website codewitharjun.medium.com. If you go to that website, it will, these codes are already given there. Okay. So, we will see how to configure that bash file. So, once again, I will come to my home. Okay. Then, we'll, the command is the command is sudo nano dot bash hrc. So, this is the command which is used to enter the bash file. sudo nano sudo nano dot hrc bash hrc. So, here it is a dot. This is the hidden file present in our home directory. So, the dot is there. Okay. Once you will open, this file is open. These are all the commands or scripts present in that file. So, we will come down to the last of that file. We don't want to disturb anything. Now, okay. So, this fi fi is there. After that, we will copy the course or scripts which will be copied from that website and just to paste it, don't do anything, just to paste it. So, in my machine, I am using the Hadoop version 3.2.3. .3. If you are installing the latest version, it will be 3.3.6. You can modify only one thing in this line, Hadoop iPhone 3.3.6. Okay. And the same thing here also, you have to modify that. After pasting that one, you have to upload, upload this file. So, you will give Control O and then enter then you will give control x so it will come so so this is the basic configuration we have to do in the dot bash hrc file and then we can install the uh, shc file okay. after doing this we can do install ssh okay secured shell file sudo apt iphone get install ssh this command will install the SHS file. Okay. sudo at iPhone get install SSH. So, this command will install the SSH file. Already I will install. So, if I will install once again, it will disturb the environment. So, I am not installing now, but you have to install this one. So, this is our next step. After installing this one, after installing this, we will continue with the third step. So, what is the third step means? We can download the Hadoop from the Apache Hadoop website, Apache website. So, whenever you are uh, downloading the Hadoop for all other softwares, we can make the, we can ensure that our operating system is 32 bit or 64 bit. But Hadoop, we do not want to see that all. We can install, sorry, we can download directly from the Apache, it will be compact with 32 bit also and also with the 64 bit. That file will be downloaded as the zip file. So, once it will be downloaded, we have to unzip that one. For the command is tar iphone zx vf, okay. And then it will be downloaded in the downloads. So, download and then Hadoop, okay. Then once we will unzip that one, we will move to the file, okay. I will show that. So, I am having that Hadoop in my home. This is my Hadoop file, which is downloaded from the net, internet. Okay. Once we'll download this one, then we have to make configuration in these files also for running the HDFS, YARN, and then a pig, and then HDFS, everything, map produce everything. So we'll see one by one. So see here, to move to the configuration files, we'll make the CD, ETC, Hadoop, and then it will list various types of file. In that, we have to change Hadoop environment first, then core site.xml, HDFS uh, uh, site.xml, mapreduce.site.xml. Everything we have to configure in that one. First, we will move to the Hadoop environment. So, here, CD, ETC, Hadoop. See, 
slash our arrow so we will check this arrow for arrow iphone 3.2.3 3. so slash arrow iphone 3.2.3 3. so saving etc slash hado i missed the one step now we are in the hado configuration file so i list the files so see we have these many number of files configuration files inside the folder hado so in this we are going to configure hado env.sh environment file and then hdfs ifert site.xml and then uh, map red iphone site.xml yarn site.xml these files we are all going to configure that one we will see one by one okay these are all the steps so first we will configure the adobe environment file sudo nano adobe iphone env.sh so in this file already some scripts will be there we have to make only one change that is we have to give the correct path of our java okay so java underscore home is equal to slash user lib jvm what we seen at the first step na, that home path we have to give in that environment file okay so sudo nano adu iphone env dot sh it's a shell file sudo nano nano Okay, this file is open. So this is the environment file. In this, you will see one by one. Here we have the Java home. Okay, this is the right path. Already I said like that. You have to set the where your Java will reside in your system. That home path you have to give. Once you will give that one. Again you will give the Control O to update that file. Control X to come out from that file. So now we will ensure that. Adobe environment is set. The next one we have to configure the XML files. So sudo nano core iphone site dot xml. This file we have to update. Okay. So that is our next step. So sudo nano core iphone site dot xml. So you copy this command. All these scripts will be present already in that core.arjun.medium.com core with arjun.medium.com in that or otherwise you will refer the uh, code with sorry core.medium.com that website also just you will copy the uh, code and then you will paste in the file okay already this will be there like this only configuration normally your file will have configuration and then property that tag only we have but you will replace that and you will paste this same commands which you present from there and then once you will give paste give control o then enter control x as we did early early okay now we will uh, configure the core set the next one we will configure the hdfs hdfs file so hdfs iphone site dot xml dot xml so for that code will be there so the same code you will get and then you will paste it here. You will paste it here. That nothing you have to do. Just you will copy and paste the code and then give control O, enter control X. Like the same thing, we will configure the map red for performing the map red. Map red configuration file and the coding is for map red is this one. Just you will copy this one and then paste in that configuration file here. So as I did, you will copy and paste it one. Then you control O and then enter control X. Like that, we have to make the yarn also. Yarn. So same thing, we will copy and paste from here. Yarn. Yeah. 
so after doing all this configuration after doing this configuration file modifications you control o enter control s so now we will modify the adobe environment core side hdfs map reduce yam if you want you will make the other things also so now after this we have to follow we have to follow our local host setup so this is the way how we have to make the local host setup first we will uh, make the local host launch the local host then key generation so this is the key which is uh, performing the key uh, generate sorry this key generation performs the rs algorithm and then copy file authorization and then mode configuration format the name now here it is very very important so in my system i am using the version 3.2.3 .3. if you are using the latest version 3.3.6 make sure before running this command you have to change this one hadoop hyphen 3.3.6 and then format the system it will format the entire name node we know that uh, our uh, Hadoop system will have the name node and data node. So name node will contain the logs of all the information which will be shared in our data nodes. So that you have to uh, format it here and then you export that one. Then finally we have to start all the demands. We will see one by one. After doing already I generated the key everything. So directly I launch the localhost. SSH localhost just you will give enter our localhost will start okay after performing that key generation modification everything you will give start iphone all dot sh it will start your name node data node secondary name node resource manager everything so this is the first step we are installing the hadoop so later after installing the Hadoop, you are going to perform your next experiments for all the experiments first thing first step what you have to do means first you have to launch the ssh localhost and then you will start all the demands then only your uh, hdfs file system will be enabled then you can able to store your data uh, in the Hadoop file system okay so see now name node is started data node is started then secondary name node is started okay like that it will start all the thing we will wait for uh, wait for few seconds it will start everything once it will start we will go and check our hdfs uh, that uh, hadoop will launch very perfectly or not by using this browser okay so wait for a few seconds it will get that one so it's a simple task only but configuration plays an important role if you will miss anything or if you are uh, made any mistake in this configuration files then it will affect the entire hadoop launching system so be aware about that uh, configuration files yeah our uh, name node managers and uh, uh, node managers are start so see all our demands are started here then you will go to your browser default in this firefox will be there no, no issue we will use that too It will take some time. Wait for a while. So in the browser, in the browser, we have to launch the browser, and our local uh, host uh, port will be nine eight seven zero. Okay, we'll give like this: local host colon nine eight seven zero. Okay, so our uh, browser opens. HTTP colon double slash localhost colon 9870 slash give like this give enter see our Hadoop is launched very perfectly our Hadoop is launched perfectly then where we have to check our files and folders means go to utilities click it browse the file system just you click it it will shows all the files present in your system so at present nothing will be there initially we can't see anything here so in my system already i have some files and folders so it's showing here but in your system very freshly you are installing means nothing will be shown here and we'll see how to create folders or files in the Hadoop system okay it's a very easy task only so see for your local system you are creating the files and folders means you are using the normal unix commands 
but here if you are creating the files and folders or you are going to upload something to your Hadoop system is always you have the Hadoop FS. This is very very important. Don't forget this one. Hadoop FS. I, if I want to make a directory, normally we are using the mkdir command for making the directory. Same thing here you will have the iPhone. iPhone mkdir. Okay. Slash for my root. Okay. I'll, I'll uh, use something. Okay. I'll use the Hadoop. I'll create one folder in the name Hadoop. Okay. So see, it will create the folder. Okay. My system is in safe state. So first we have to remove the safe state. How it will be there means HDFS DFS admin iPhone safe mode leave. So at first your system is not in safe mode. Okay, if you are enabled this thing, it will show like that. So my safe mode is uh, switched off now. Now I'll create the fault. Okay, so folder created, we'll check in our Hadoop system. So see, the no folder is in the name Hadoop here. So once I'll refresh, once I'll refresh, see, folder Hadoop is created here. Inside, nothing is there. Okay, so if you want to store anything in that Hadoop folder means, so I want to export some files uh, uh, from my home to somewhere something in that means we'll use the commands like hadoop fs hyphen put hyphen put to my hadoop folder okay so what i want to put i'll give the path of the file for example um, if i try to put some text file okay some text file demo simply i drag that one and i leave it means that path came normally we are using the property to see the path of that file and we are typing here okay this is the shortcut method okay now adobe fs iphone put path of my file and file name where i want to store in my hardware okay just give enter Now, file present in my local file system is moved to my Hadoop file system. Is moved to my Hadoop file system. Just will refresh. See, the demo file will came, na? the text file. If you want the content of that file, just to click it, it will come like this. And then, head the file. You will click the head the file. It will show the content of that file. So, like this, we can move our local files to the Hadoop files. In the same way, we can delete the files from from the Hadoop system also. We'll see how to delete a file. Okay, Hadoop fs iphone rm. Okay, I want to delete the entire folder. Hadoop, but already my folder is contain one file called demo. My folder is not empty, so it can it it will not be deleted easily. So see, Hadoop is uh, sorry. I'll give the wrong. Hadoop. So uh, some content will be there. So it's a directory. It has something. So we can't be able to use the rm command like that. It says in such cases you will use one more parameter iphone r. Okay, iphone r. Now the entire folder Hadoop will be deleted from a system. So see deleted Hadoop. We we'll check that one. Okay, we we'll check that one. See, Hadoop is not here. Hadoop is not here. It is fully deleted. Okay. So, like this, we can launch the Hadoop and then we can use the file systems, everything. Uh, launching this Hadoop or installing the Hadoop will be done in three modes. One is the single mode, single node mode that we have seen now, pseudo mode, and then fully cluster mode. So, we will see in the single how to install the Hadoop in the single mode today. Okay, so after completing your task, always you have to stop all your demands. So for that command is stop iphone all dot sh. So how will we started all the demands? Like the same thing, we have to stop everything.
it will stops one by one one by one so this is the, uh, like this we have properly start and stop all our name nodes data nodes resource manager uh, secondary name node manager everything so see it, everything will be get stops now So properly we'll stop everything then we'll exit from the localhost okay localhost is closed now you will refresh this one means see unable to connect because our localhost is last here okay so after completing this we'll exit from our center so like this we can easily install the hadoop and then we'll uh, set up the single node uh, configurations easily i think it is useful for you you all thank you